a whisper. Maclewity. He was nervous. They were in public, but he couldn't help it. She wanted to. A smile. And then the softest touch as their fingers interlaced. It's surprising just how much emotion was present in that small gesture. So much so that he had to look around, afraid that someone would notice that connection. Their worlds dissolve into that moment, and it sways in its heady intention. But just for a second, Kenji had snapped to attention. They had stopped walking. Her smile gives way to a tease. Her eyes darken with desire and she bites her bottom lip. It's that look. Something always happens after that look. It gets worse when their eyes meet. He wished he could just kiss her. But he couldn't. This was neither the place nor the time. Why couldn't he just do it? Then came the suppressing truth in the form of declared passion. just have to be quiet this time. Very. All they have to say, all the sounds they want to make, everything is directed to the most passionate, most silent lovemaking ever. Once upon a time, there was a little seed. I can't remember how little, but she fell from the sky. She hit the ground hard and she sunk. And in the cradle of her disgrace, the soil clothed her nakedness, and the dirt nurtured her. No, I don't want Daddy, please don't. She grew, she grew, and she grew, and she reached out from beneath the mud. She was beautiful in all her splendor. But the feet of men soon came crashing down on her. Still, she grew.
cry the sad beauty of love. Perched on the last branch of a charred tree was a bleeding white dove. Kenji was a wounded man. Sorry, your wife can't make it. And neither did the twins. a child clenched to its mother. Thank you. 